I was trying for a year to get this idea made, cold calling all the hosiery mills, talking to men. Nobody thought it was a good idea. I let go of it. I asked for a sign. Flip on your show. You're my sign, there which means I'm going for it. Yeah. And I then got it made. It took me another additional year to get it made. And I started it with the $5,000. Spanx now is, we have over 100 products. I've done... I mean, I have to pinch myself, but we've done over $100 million in retail sales. Oh, my God. And listen, Oprah, I mean, with $5 million? Yeah, 5000 yes. out of my apartment. I know. That is amazing. It's amazing. I mean, these, all the men that I was cold calling said, this isn't a good idea. I don't get it. And it just has taken off. I believed in it. You, be, you, you were such well, a big no, part of it. Well, no, because that is the truth. I mean, for years. Yeah. I don't, did you all ever do that? For years, I would cut off that you would have a run, and then you'd cut off that leg, and then you would save the, save the other half. Sometimes you have two halves on at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Right. I mean, I had a patent attorney tell me he thought it, I'd been sent by candid camera because he thought the idea was so bad when I really? presented it to him. And, and I what is he saying now? <laughs> $100 million sales later. What is he saying now? No, he's so excited and proud because I actually wrote my own patent, but he helped me write the claims part, so... But the journey has been amazing, and you've, I feel like you've been present almost the whole journey, so I'm thrilled to meet you. I'm thrilled to meet you. Because women are going to be so happy. They think we're good friends. Congratulations. (laughs) How did you come up with your name, Spanx? Oh, now I know that's you on the Spanx package. That's you. That's you. (laughs) The girl in the The middle of the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you. How did Um, you come up with the name? I, you know what, I had spent a year coming up with really bad names, and I narrowed it down in my mind and thought, okay, Kodak and Coca-Cola are the two most recognized names in the world. What do they have in common? They both have a strong K sound. Mm -hmm. Stand-up comedians, it's a trade secret that the K sound will make your audience laugh. So in that moment, for good luck, I said, I want this name to have the K sound in it. Spanx hit me sitting in traffic in Atlanta like a lightning bolt, and I knew it was right because it's all about making right here look better, and it kind of makes your mind wander, and nobody forgets it. Spanx! (laughs) Spanx! If you want to see an awesome video of a young Oprah Winfrey, check out the link right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Well, the new sister news director came to me and said, you know, your hair is too long, it's too thick, your eyes are too far apart, your nose is too wide, and your chin's too long. 